University of the Cumberland's tennis. The Patriots taking on the Blue Raiders of Lindsey Wilson College. First, let's check out the ladies. Number 17, Cumberland's. Number 4, Lindsey Wilson. We start with the doubles. Cumberland's duo of Jacqueline Jewell and Tomomi Nagayo with a tough matchup against Para and Sacheka of Lindsey Wilson. Jewell and Nagayo falling 9-7, but getting a great point here. Also for Cumberland's, it was Tessa Gray and Grace Steely falling 8-3 in their matchup against Steffi McDonald and Lucia Mora. Number 3 doubles, Micah Frost and Sydney White. They get the 9-7 win over Alibert and Pedro. Rosa. Four Cumberlands at number one singles to Momi Nagayo in a battle with Alexandra Para. The 25th ranked Para took set number one 6-3. However, second set, Nagayo battling back to take it 6-2, forcing a third set. Para too much in this one. She takes set number three 6-2. That clinches the match and gives Lindsey Wilson a 5-1 lead. Cumberland's number two singles. Mika Ella Frost getting the nod. She took on Lindsey Wilson's Lena Sachika. Sachika winning the first set 6-1. Frost coming back in set two, giving it a go before falling 6-3. Patriots getting good play from junior Jacqueline Jewell on the day. Tough matchup with Steffi McDonald. Opening set, McDonald takes it 6-3 before capping off set number two at 6-1. Another tough matchup for Cumberland's at the number four spot. Lucia Mora takes it over Grace Steely, 6-2, 6-3. Number five singles, Cumberland's Luca Little taking on Lindsey Wilson's Carla Alibert. Set number one, it was all Little, winning 6-1. Set two, Little playing well again. She gets the 7-6 win to give the Patriots the point. And at six singles, another win for Cumberland's, Tessa Gray. She gets the win over Gabriella Pedroza. Gray with 6-3, 6-4 wins. Patriots would just come up short, though, falling 6-3 to the Blue Raiders. Cumberland's moves to 4-3 on the year, 0-1 in conference play with number 21 Georgetown coming up on March 23rd. On the men's side, the 19th-ranked Patriots taking on the number 7 Blue Raiders. First, we check out action from doubles. The Blue Raiders taking two out of three from Cumberland's, but UC getting a win in the number one doubles. Eric Banu and Martin Barbier, 9-8 winners over Camilio Arazo and Javier Raya. This one a back-and-forth matchup before the Patriots finally prevailing 9-8. That would cut the deficit to 2-1 heading into singles play. Other doubles action, Jan Dietrich and Anthony Kwok. They fall to Xavier Navario and Santiago Diaz 8-6. In number three doubles, the Patriots duo of Atu Marinheimo and Luis Montol falling 8-5 to the Blue Raiders Thiago Almeida and Nicolas Toralba. On to the singles matchup, Martin Barbier once again impressive win. He takes out Thiago Almeida 6-3, 6-2. Almeida no match for Barbier's power and speed. Barbier now 5-2 and singles on the season. At number two, Atu Marinheimo in for Cumberland's. A tough matchup with number 23, Camilo Arazo. Marinheimo falling in set one 6 zero, but set two, a good effort. Marinheimo coming back to make a game out of it, but Arazo too much, winning 7-6. Number three singles, Jan Dietrich taking on Xavier Navario. Dietrich with a few nice points in this one, but in the end, it was Navario winning 6-0, 6-1. At number four, Luis Montol taking on Javier Raya. Montol getting the win for Cumberland's. He goes 6-4 Set one, set two, Montol winning 7-5. Montol getting the Patriots' first singles win of the matchup. At number five, Eric Banu taking on Nicholas Toralba. Banu dropping the first set 6-4. Rally back to take set two, 7-6, before falling in set three in a heartbreaker, 10-8. And to wrap things up at number six, Schwart Neeson taking on Santiago Diaz. Diaz too tough in this matchup as he takes down Neeson 6-1, 6-2. Cumberland's falls to Lindsay, 6-3. The Patriots now 4-4 four four on the season, 0-1 in conference play. For more on Cumberland's tennis, go to cumberlandspatriots.com.